Improving our homes can transform how we live, but if you think smart and stay on budget, it can also increase the value of your home and make you lots of money. So, time to find out which will make the most profit and win the home game today. First, we're off to Nottinghamshire to meet John and Pat, who live in the village of Gringley. We love it, absolutely love it. We're out in the country, which we like. We move from the centre of Doncaster to move to the country. When you open the gates and you come in, I know I'm home. It's a small village of 800 people on the Yorkshire border, popular with commuters to Doncaster. Picturesque Gringley was mentioned in the Doomsday Book, and today it's a conservation area with large Georgian houses and old cottages. So you may be surprised to hear the average home here costs under £230,000. John and Pat have lived in their period property for 16 years. They're all original features. I just love the wood and I like the curves. John works in construction while Pat hosts weddings in their spacious grounds and they both love a bit of home improvement. We get a project and we do it properly and then we go on to the next project and move on. Two shots. Oh. <laughs> I've done a lot of renovation to it and repair to it. The balcony out there. Sounds like they come with plenty of experience for the home game. But before any work starts, we need to know what their Georgian property is worth. This house is quite exceptional for the area. It dates back about 300 years. Four reception rooms, uh, five bedrooms. Not only is the house uh, grade two listed and quite a special house, but the grounds are, are quite magnificent too. In the current market, I'd value this property at £925,000. It's a dream country home, and John has plans to make it even more perfect. The problem is, John's always wanted a classic car. I can't use the garage because the garage is used for um, wedding stuff and for gardening stuff. Nearly half the 11 million garages in Britain aren't used to store a car, but instead are used for storage and workshops. I've got a ride on mower, we've got um, workbenches, I've got a storeroom in the back. So, no, he's got no room. So, I'd like to put this classic barn up. The oak barn sounds lovely, but the property already has a lot of outbuildings, so another may not add value to the property. There's uh, offices, storage. Most of the outbuildings at the moment are being put to full use. Really, there's not any, any areas where I see any huge gain in value can be made from the property. It's not encouraging news, but this is no ordinary outbuilding. John and Pat plan to build a bespoke, natural green oak barn with traditional clay tile roof and paved floor. A classic construction for a classic car. This is the area where the classic barn's going. We'll start at the back here and it'll probably go up to about here. The barn is going to be opposite the three-bay garage. It's got to marry up and look nice so that it just as looks as though it's always been there. Yes, it does. The features are beautiful, leaving it open so you're exposing all of the beams and then we're going to have one bay that's closed for your classic we are. car. Yeah, that's where the classic car's going. Yeah. Sounds impressive, but these traditional oak frame barns do not come cheap. The barn itself, the oak part, is 35,000. The substantial foundations will probably be around 20,000 for that. So probably a budget of around 65,000. Really mm, yeah, will be. John's may be airing on the side of caution. Let's see how the figures add up. Their house is valued at 925,000 pounds. The budget is 65,000. So it'll have to be worth more than 990,000 if they're to break even. It's time for me to sort of, if you like, enjoy myself. 
with, and that's where the classic car comes in. Now we can afford a car and uh, afford a building to house it. It's more of a pleasure for it rather than a financial reason for building it. This clearly is a passion project for John. Our agent, though, thought this wouldn't add any value to the property, but anything can happen on the home game. Let's find out. Seven weeks digging, dust and dirt, in an instant for you, as we return to the Gringley Oak Barn. From a patch of grass and shrubs rises a classic green oak barn, beautifully in keeping with the period home. Well happy with it. I think it's gorgeous. I love yeah. it. Yeah. We're over the moon with it. It's a fine piece of traditional craftsmanship. But right from the start, there was a flaw with the foundations. The weather changed the day the concrete came and we had three wagons turned up and the heavens opened and they were up to their <laughs> the tops of the legs in concrete, um, but they did a brilliant job. We've got a slight problem that we can't find the drain. Bit of a setback, because we were hoping to do the block paving very shortly, and um, it's just put a bit of a standstill on things, but such is life. In the end, they had to lay and extend extra pipes. It's worth putting proper drainage in. But it was an unplanned expense. Just the drainage on itself was an extra £1,000. With the foundations firmly in place, the impressive and expansive cobbled area could be laid. The block paving cost us £5,000. That was twice as much as what we'd originally thought it would be if it was in concrete. It gives you a fully luxury finish. It might look good, though it was another unexpected cost, and though the build overran by a week, it was worth the wait. The barn has many traditional features, from handmade rosemary clay roof tiles to a generous open span oak frame. It's everything that we could have asked for, really. And certainly the finish on it, I'm well happy with. Good job, as these oak barns can last around 200 years. These doors that we got here were £2,500, so if we'd gone for doors on the other two bays, you're talking another £5,000 on. Uh, happy enough with just one set of doors on, to be honest with you. They overspent on some features, but saved on others, such as labour, local builders who did everything bar the woodwork. I wanted the local workmen to do the work. We were convinced that we were going to get a quality job done and I think we saved from our original budget. Because John's now got this garage, it's, it's a lot better for me. It takes away the guilt. Pat felt bad because she's using all the garages for her business, but not anymore. John's now got an amazing garage of his own for his love of classic cars. It really is good when you come down the drive pulling into there is a good feeling, and I was very happy with it. This oak barn was never going to be on a shoestring with John and Pat prepared to invest some serious cash. Our initial budget was £65,000. What we've actually spent is £58,000. Well pleased to be under budget. We're just very lucky with it all. We're fortunate with it. It helps they build a contingency into their budget that they never used and employing local labour saved money. The debate now is whether the garage will turn them a profit. I would be disappointed if it didn't add some value to the property. However, that is not the uh, number one criteria. The aim was to have a nice building. For us, for you? For, yes, for, for us to For his uh, car. Our estate agent didn't think much value could be added to the property, but it's time to find out. It's been built to a very high standard, finished very much in keeping with the, the surround. Done a beautiful job. 
I'd now suggest marketing the property at a price in the region of £950,000. That just leaves us to do the maths. Before the work, John and Pat's period property was valued at £925,000. The oak barn came in seven grand under budget at 58,000. The new valuation with the new garage was 25,000 higher. But before agents fees, this means a loss of 33,000 pounds. But for John and Pat, the property has at least risen in value. Yeah, that's, that's fine. That's After good. All, I, I mean, I think that's fantastic, but I wouldn't yeah. have expected that at all. No, no, I'm happy. With I would, I'm very happy with that yeah. actually, yeah. yeah. Passion projects like this very rarely make any money, but what's really important to John is that he's got a classic barn to put his classic car. I wonder if our next player will pack a profit.